What's the most awkward situation you've ever been in? I was looking at my mom's phone cause she wanted to show me some pictures from what she did that weekend. I swiped one too many times and came across one of her nudes. I felt my soul jolt out of my body seeing that crap. I have a regular breakfast place that I had been frequenting on the weekends for about a good 5 to 6 years. One day I went into work later because of a doctor's appointment, so I decided to pick up some breakfast at my regular place. I walk in and I take a look around to find a spot to sit at and I see my dad. He's sitting in a corner spot with some woman I don't recognize. He looked shocked and I decide to walk over. He stands up and gives me a kiss hug and introduces her as a co-worker. It was the most awkward introduction of my life. My dad was an AC repair man and was strictly on the road. No women in his office. I pretended like I believed him, said hello and sat down on my own. Definitely one of the most awkward moments of my life that will stand out for a long time. More background. My mom and dad haven't been together since before I was born however he was married to another woman when this took place. The waitresses were all my friends and a couple days later when I went for breakfast they proceeded to tell me how he met that lady there every week. I never brought it up to him and pretended it never happened. That was about 14 years ago. I still go to that breakfast place and the girls told me after that day he never came back to that restaurant. In a couple of weeks it will be one year since he passed. I'm glad I got this opportunity to think and talk about him. My 79-year-old mother-in-law with Alzheimer's telling us that she had had sex the previous night with another resident of her nursing home. She had been celibate for 20 years up until then, we think. Last summer my wife and I were browsing for random crap in Pier 1. I'm wandering around the store aimlessly and see my wife kneeling down inspecting some merchandise on the bottom shelf. I approach her from behind, slightly tap the top of her head, and go boop. It was not my wife, just someone who looked almost exactly like her from the back. She looks up at me all I managed to say was oh, I thought I was married to you, sorry. I was in some business college class and the professor was talking about something related to how celebrities brand themselves. Someone in the class brought up Sean White as someone who had great celebrity branding but isn't really talked about a lot. The professor was Indian and said he wasn't familiar with who that was. So my genius ass thought it would be perfect to say out loud I'm talking about Mountain Dew's baby. As a joke reference to that newscast where Sean White said he had been drinking all night but was underage and the news person asked him what he meant so he responded with I'm talking about Mountain Dew's baby. And we all no one seemed to know about that or at least didn't think it was funny as silence rang through the classroom and professor awkwardly moved on to a new topic. Truly the most awkward situation I've been in and also the worst haunting moment of my life. This poor girl walked into my lecture by mistake about halfway through. This particular professor really enjoys talking to all of his students and was super engaging even with 400 plus students in his class. When the girl walked in, my professor stopped teaching, looked at the girl and asked if she was in the class. She said she was and began walking towards the front where the open seats were. This is a fairly large lecture hall and all 200 students, approximately how many actually show up to class, were now forced to watch this poor girl walk towards a seat because the professor didn't continue talking and just stared at her. She got close to the front and I think the pressure of the whole room got to her and she said, actually no I'm not, and turned around and we all had to watch this poor girl climb back up the stairs and out of the hall. I was literally watching my worst nightmare. One time in college, I snuck into my RA's room and hid under the blanket on his top bunk. My goal was to scare him when he came in and settled down a bit. He ended up coming in with his girlfriend and began making out with her. After a good, lifetime, couple moments, I jumped up and ran out. No saving it. When I was a kid, we were on holiday and decided to go to a church. While we were there I decided that I would be funny if I would slap my dad's ass with both hands. So I ran in full speed to maximize the impact of the slap. 
I ended up slapping a stranger who also happened to walk next to a woman with a stroller in his hands which made me think it was my dad. It was even worse that my parents saw it as well. My best friend waiting to tell her parents that she's gay until when I was over for dinner. Was unexpectedly in the car ride with my boyfriend's parents on their way to sign their divorce papers. I don't know if this is really the most awkward, but it was definitely awkward. I visited my bio dad's old church in Mississippi a few years ago and spoke to his old preacher for a moment. One important detail for this story is that my dad died when I was seven, so a pretty good while back. My grandma told the preacher who I was, this is Pomelo Sr.'s daughter, Pomelo. Preacher. Aw, Pomelo Sr., tell him I said hi for me. Me. Sure thing. My grandma's face was priceless. We agreed the preacher would feel really awkward when he remembered later that my dad was dead. Not awkward for me, but I was the reason for it. I served for a couple years and worked multiple restaurants in that time frame. I worked at a Denny's, night shift, best and worst job for many reasons. Anyways there was a regular that came in often, drunk as a skunk and nasty as hell. He tipped really well but was so nasty to us girls. It never fazed me so I served him often, he offered many many times to pay for extra service and tried to get me to leave with him often. Of course I never did but a couple months later in working a new place, little more high end, I work mornings here, and this was a Sunday morning church rush. Guess who was sat in my section, my nasty regular from my last job with his entire family. His wife, kids, parents, the whole group, fresh out of church. The look on this man's face when I walked up and said hello. He was red as a fire truck and I made it worse by asking if he remembered me. He left me a huge tip, probably because I didn't bring up his nasty mouth and grabby hands from his late drunken nights. When I was a kid I hugged a random dude because I thought it was my dad. Even better how this dude's son was standing next to him. You established yourself as his new son. Asserting dominance early on. I was at a funeral for one of my husband's relatives. On my way in, an employee of the funeral home asked me when I was due. I wasn't pregnant, but I am fat and was wearing an empire waistcoat so I wasn't offended. As I signed the guest book I corrected her and tried to defuse the situation with a joke about burning that coat later. But she just wouldn't, stop. She kept trying to apologize and explain herself and I just wanted to run away. Then I was stuck in a small room with her for the next two hours. When I was a kid my family's van broke down so we all had to squeeze into my dad's car to go to a funeral. Anyways, my older sister had to sit on my lap. Yep, you guessed it. I got a boner and she freaked out and started screaming. I was a teenager with a boner, pretty standard so far. I walked downstairs and had to tuck it in my pajamas so the head is sticking straight up and the erection is pinned against the body so the boner isn't noticeable. Well, when I put my t-shirt on it fell behind the tip so if you looked at my waistline you could clearly see the tip of my penis. I was talking to my mom for a few minutes and she was flushed red in the face and quickly trying to kill conversation, not something my mom is known for. I walked away saw what was going on and didn't know what the hell to do. We never discussed it but because things were so awkward at dinner, I'm pretty sure my mom knew that I realized it happened as well. I am someone who never feels awkward and doesn't get embarrassed, but this moment got me good. I was doing orientation for my college. I wanted to meet the dean of my department and make a good impression. I walk in his office and he is bent over behind his desk looking for something. I introduce myself and stick my hand out to shake his hand. He sits up and he has no arms. I look at him and look at my hand and I am freaking out. It felt like my hand was out there for an eternity and I did the only thing I could think of to do. I ran my hand through my hair and tried to play it off. He never said anything and just started talking to me but I felt like I was actually going to die of embarrassment. <laughs>